Hello my future RN friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is another series for our science review questions and this is more chemistry questions. And I mentioned in my previous video series that I, I was going to have like 40 terms that I was going to go over, but then I realized that some of those uh, terms are already covered in my first um, chemistry review questions. I just uh, fused it in the multiple choice, and if you watch the whole thing, you can um, listen all to all the terms, and you will find out all the terms that I went over. And in this segment, though, I, won't, I wasn't able to make a multiple choice question, but you were just gonna um, study with me and go over with the some of the terms used in chemistry and this will be you know a good uh, study review in preparation for your ATIT's exam so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated for my future review videos okay now let's get started okay the first term that we're going to go over is um, ionic bond. An example of ionic bond is the table salt or and NaCl. Okay, it's NaCl is also known as sodium chloride. Okay, so if you see this question in the T's exam, you will remember that ionic bond example is table salt and NaCl. Okay, next Number two, a bond that involves mutual sharing of electrons between two atoms is known as covalent bond. Covalent bond. <laughs> covalent bond, okay? A bond that involves mutual. You would notice the word mutual. It's highlighted or it's capitalized. I think it's because that's the clue for um, covalent bond. Mutual sharing of electrons, okay? Then number three, Nitrogen atom with three hydrogen atoms form ammonia and NH3. So again, nitrogen atom with three hydrogen atoms form ammonia and NH3. So guys, just so you know, these questions like are good for a refresher and study guide in preparation for your T's exam. I cannot guarantee that all of these questions will come out, but it's very helpful um, to add your knowledge and be prepared for your exam. Okay, number four, sometimes by sharing two or more electron pairs, blank and blank bonds are formed. So sometimes by sharing two or more electron pairs, double and triple bonds are formed. Take note that two or more electron pairs are highlighted or capitalized, and this will give you a clue that double and triple bonds are formed. Okay, next, number five, sharing of two electron pairs between two atoms results in blank. The answer would be double bonds. Again, sharing of two electron pairs between two atoms results in double bonds, and in an example to this is oxygen gas or O2 and ethylene gas. Okay, next, number six. Sorry, my dog is barking. She's a German Shepherd and she's big. <laughs> anyway, number six, um, sharing of three electron pairs between two atoms result in blank. Okay, that would be triple bonds. Okay, do you see this one? The number three is a capitalized that would give you a clue that triple bonds is formed. Again, sharing of three electron pairs between two atoms result in triple bonds. So this could come up in the th true or false question. And an ex or if you are asked for an example of triple bonds, we have the nitrogen gas or N2 and acetylene gas. Okay, I hope I am able to help you guys review with your um, TS exam. And if you find this video helpful, please go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that you will be um, updated with my future videos. Okay, next, number seven. 
Blanc developed an electronegativity scale to describe the attraction of the elements in a chemical bond for shared electrons. So if you are asked for someone who developed the, an electronegativity scale, that would be Linus Pauling. Okay, Linus Pauling developed an electronegativity scale to describe the attraction of the elements in a chemical bond for shared electrons. So guys, if this question comes up in your T's exam, you will thank me and the author of this uh, Quizlet uh, review guide. I will be uh, posting the link below so that you can go ahead and study on his um, full uh, Quizlet uh, chemistry review as well. Okay, the number eight, the greater the separation between two atoms in the electronegativity scale, the greater is the blank character of a bond between them. So the answer is ionic. Again, I'll repeat, the greater the separation between two atoms in the electronegativity scale, the greater is the ionic character of a bond between them. Okay, so this could come up in the, again, true or false, or um, you can find a word that fits the question. Okay, number nine, the bond between two highly electronegative atoms is blank in NO or CCL4. The answer is covalent. Okay, the bond between two high, highly electronegative atoms is covalent in uh, NO or, N or CCL4. Okay, number 10, the bond linking two elements of low electronegativity is a metallic one as in brass or copper plus zinc, this Cu plus Cn. Okay, number 11, the bond type between a highly electronegative and low electronegative element is ionic as in KCl. Okay, again, the bond type between a highly electronegative and low electronegative element is ionic as in KCl, potassium chloride, okay? Number 12, um, the greater the separation of two elements in the electronegativity scale, the stronger will be the bond between them. The answer is true. So if the separation of two elements is greater in the electronegativity scale, then there will be a stronger bond between the two um, elements. Okay, so I hope you learned something about this um, study review. And in my next video, I'm going to um, talk about reproductive system. Are you excited? Okay, so let's see what's next. So that's it for today. And Thank you so much for um, staying with me, watching my videos, and subscribing to my channel. I would, I really appreciate all of you guys. And my first goal, my main goal, is to help out future RN students pass their T's exam, just like I did. Okay, so have a nice day and good luck. Best of luck, everyone. Bye.